Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Uh, as I thought, the the game audio seemed a little low, so I bumped it up. Hopefully it's a little more balanced. It's all crapshoot anyway, since YouTube reprocesses all of this and recompresses it. So, old thing's fucked. But let's move right along. This is episode one, Faith. We are on Bullfinch Street. Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. I'm wondering if I should switch to my controller. But, um... Luxury Apartments. Wish they would advertise that. What is the four dots for? That's... Oh, wait a minute. I'm so, it's been such a long time since I've played a Telltale game, I forget how they control, so... Wazd works. Um, what did I do with my controller? Let's see if it just pops up if I turn it on. If so, maybe I'll use it. It is not working. Okay. Mouse and keyboard it is. Luxury apartments with a gate that's open. Okay. Sometimes be a disciplinary. It's a. It's a very permanent sign. Must be a bitch to mow around. There's an explanation, I swear. Uh, look, if you don't have anything to say, I'm just gonna... Damn it, I'm late. Well, that's not... It sounded like she was gonna explain herself, not just... Shit. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just... Please. Promise me. I like the idea of playing it playing this as the strong silent type. Right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. It's interesting, because this is more reminiscent to me of the um, Telltale Batman game, which was one of their last... one of their last ones they made. But, um, I mean, that I think the initial release of Batman was 2017, 2018? And this was... Ugh, 2013, I want to say? I should look that up, actually. What we're gonna do. Because I'm. It's gonna drive me nuts. nuts otherwise. It's going to drive me nuts otherwise. Yep, I was right. 2013. I came on a lot of systems. Even made it to the Vita. I suppose it makes sense. Oh, I live here. Okay. Seventh day in a row. Neat. 
This is doing an excellent job of showing without telling. Um, part of the reason I'm so interested in this is I have a fascination with like mythology and fables and how they, uh, um, the representation they have in in like pop culture over various eras, and the idea of rethinking some of our like, well, I say are the Western the 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 fables of the Western canon I would say modern Western canon. Um, between, let's say, the, like, 18th and 21st century. Interesting. It's, it's a really interesting concept that I would not have expected anyone to take. Talk to desk. <laughs> What do we pay him for? Hey, you wink. Probably for the best. You know, I didn't pay enough. I didn't pay close enough attention to the, uh, directory before. Oh, man. I am not used to the um, not tank controls, but the, you know, fixed camera controls. Wow, it really doesn't show me that for very long. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't matter. Anything? Nope. I guess it is tech. It's not tank controls. That's the weird thing. But it's also not. Eh. Doesn't matter. Seen beauty? So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Not my place. I'm sorry if this is, like, super quiet and I'm not contributing a lot. I'm sure I'll probably have more things to say as we go on, but, like, this is genuinely enthralling. Like, I'm, Damn. I'm really enjoying this, despite the problems I can already feel or see. You know, for being luxury apartments, you'd think, well, I suppose I probably own the place, right? What a night. So this is how I live. A hot plate. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Are keep cigarettes in the fridge. I, I don't know. Is is cigarettes in the fridge a thing? Does that keep do cigarettes cigarettes don't really go bad, right? Unless you take like an insane amount of time to smoke a pack. I guess if you buy them carton at a time and Well, that's a surprise. Hello. Colin. <laughs> So 
So I'm having a problem here with the mouse, which is that, and it probably wouldn't be a lot better with the with the um, controller, which is that the 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 uh, cursor is very floaty and has um, it's not floaty. It's that there's like a there's a deceleration effect on it where like so for one you can see I can't get to the edge of the screen well I can get it I, I could for a second there um, but also like there's like as I pan like I'm, I'm just assume when I panning across here it's I'm going at a straight speed but you can see it slows down and speeds up a little bit because it's sort of trying to do a subtle snap thing um, but it's more counterintuitive than anything else. I, I actually really don't like that. It's the same it's the same reason why most PC gamers turn off mouse mouse acceleration is because that like it didn't go where I told it to thing is feels really bad. Uh, I'm a little concerned with this use call-in prompt. Not in that kind of way, you perverts. I mean, just like, what does it mean? At least this still works. I don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. We'll talk to him after we look at the folder. Bluebeard folder. Bluebeard's file. Excuse me. Never trusted this guy. It keeps giving me those prompts. Should we look at these? Hold on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in red hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Big Me now acts, now acts as Fable Town's sheriff and remains in his human form mostly. However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Big B is determined to show that he is truly he's truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. Woodsman. The woodsman is one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bigsby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the great wolf's belly open with his axe, filled them full of rocks, and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, the popu his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten, and he is only known as the Woodsman. Beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus... Leaving all of their wealth, leaving all of their wealth behind. Now they live in a quote modest studio unquote in Fable Town, New York. The times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills. The couple have the longest-lasting relationship of all the fables. See, the, so I have mixed feelings about this because I was just complimenting it on like the the show don't tell aspect, and as much as this is not like required, it's still interesting. Um, on the on the whole, I think that this is a good way to do it. Um, as long as the the content of the game proper continues to be as uh, as good at showing what it means as it is, um, you could totally skip this and it wouldn't be a big deal. But it's still interesting backstory. Um. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He's able to get around Fable Town without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Mr. Toad Slumlord. 
Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement on the edge of Fable Town proper. Because he's three and a half foot talking, uh, because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fable Town law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. Okay, so it's one street. To regular people, or Mundies, Mundies, interesting, mundane people, I suppose. It appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but is really the hoping of the fables for many worlds. And with the business office at the Woodlands lives, within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fable Town. Well, except for Mr. Toad, apparently. The farm, Fable Tan Town Annex. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. Well, Count Colin at least just looks like a pig. Glamours, disguise spell. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mundies. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Bluebeard. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions. Oh, that's good to know. And he often uses this influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, what? Am I? I'm... As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. I don't recognize Bluebeard's name. Um, it's funny, because uh, I didn't have a... I didn't have much of a childhood. <laughs> that's, that's kind of a broad uh, 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 statement, but we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Um, and so I am missing a lot of the uh, cultural knowledge of... Um, my, my, my compatriots from, from that era. Um, I don't know if, I mean, obviously this, this is made by people mostly a bit older than me, but nonetheless, um, feel like that's something I'm missing out on. I am, I am woefully unfamiliar with the Disney canon and really have no interest in changing that. Um. And with the Disney canon pulling largely from... Okay, so it looks like I have to bother Colin next. Um, with Disney pulling mostly from um, Western uh, fairy tales and whatnot, especially Grimm and, um, you know, a handful of others. Um, and re reinterpreting them... Lib shall we say in a, in a liberal manner um, hey. I am missing oh. some info Get up. Huh. hey Big B I'm in your chair huh I'm tired Colin it's been a long time I mean, don't look at me like I'm the asshole. Isn't this my place? 
You're not supposed to be here. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you own. Oh, got it. <laughs> Can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big Lee. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Exactly. You know I'm right. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Big Lee. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Okay, you dirty fuck. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. What's going on with the Clearly sirens outside? What with the selfishness with the burglar. But those are not the usual well, sirens. Um, I don't know what that is. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fable. <laughs> Pretty much. I take them to the farm. Fuck you. What? Why would I say that? I think my job is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Uh... That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Asshole. Life is easier with friends, big. I was hoping that would open up a dialogue about her and trying to figure out who her, who she was. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. How do I not but know who all the fables are? Again. It seems like you're not fooling me. Will be part of my job. Up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and. I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Jesus oh. Christ, dude. Take the fucking drink. Prick. Thanks, Big Lee. How the fuck are you gonna dr. Oh. Oh, no, that is. That is unpleasant to watch. <sighs> okay, Jesus. Think you knock enough times? Can't look at the people. <laughs> Straighten my loose tie. Big B. Snow. Come with me. 
What a great design. Snow. Snow. What? All of the designs are great. Like just little just slow down. No. Little nods to who they are, like whether it's a shirt pattern or oh. like tussled hair and a scruffy look or <laughs> yeah These just walls are paper thin. really we well done all careful. the designs thus Both far This is pretty weird. Somebody's glamour wear off? Is there going to be a rodent underneath? Oh, Jesus. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought... I knew everyone in Pipe Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Why do they not have cameras? One of us? All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going See, on. See, that's what bothers me a little bit, is that clearly the setting is supposed to have been established for some time, but have a look then there's people who are hold grudging, uh, grudges, ho holding grudges like they moved here six months ago. We'll see how that goes long term. The ribbon's in her mouth. Oy. Rough. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. the ribbon I don't think she's dead it's a ribbon there's some kind of symbol here hmm. I, I don't recognize it neither do I or maybe she is I don't know to be perfectly honest, when she first asked me about the ribbon, my first thought was that maybe it was intended to cover up. Like, since she doesn't have other I'm sorry. clear indicate indications sorry. of who she is or what her fable relation is, um, what what do you want to do next? That the ribbon might be an indicator of either hiding or what? Uh, this is weird. We still have some time. Um, Good idea. 
either an indicator of covering or or otherwise a relation to the fable that she's related to. So either like, uh, I'm forgetting. Hmm. Yeah, why would you just walk away? Um, blood, drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Um. I'm trying to remember, there's a particular, um, like, mythological beast, or there's, I mean, obviously there's several in different canons um, that are, like, known for being decapitated. Um, I don't know about specifically in fables. Um, but there's certainly mythological beasts that um, like basically to for want of a better phrase come pre-decapitated um, just some loose trash wait did I surprised the garbage men can even find their way here hmm yep more blood someone might have hopped a fence got caught and left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay, that's not opening, so... Let's back up the other way. So I'm not entirely sure whether this entire... Whether this episode or this entire um, game is about the murder, that's what I'm. That's part of what I'm curious about. Um, this this is extraordinarily well paced. Oh, that feels bad. Can you guys see the way that? So that was the other thing about the the um, mouse is the fact that the camera. So this is this is a problem in UI and UX design that I complain about all the time and is also here and in some other games. You don't move, you never move a target. That's bad design. So let's say I wanna move my, if I, I wanna move my mouse cursor to the window. Within the frame of the screen, that window had better not move, right? Because that means it, I have to, it's a moving target, right? So I'm not, I, I was trying to aim here. Instead, I ended up here because the camera moves with it. And this is a problem in UI design in general um, where you have, uh, like, especially in more recent um, web design stuff where you have uh, expand like automatically expanding and contracting elements that are supposed to be contextually activated. Um, you have, and it's happening in a lot of OSs too, um, and it's used for a lot of kind of nasty trickery, um, where you basically you think you're clicking on one thing and you end up clicking on something else instead. Now, obviously, this is a less sinister implementation of that, and it serves a secondary purpose here of trying to, you know give us the ability to both pan around and interact, um, but oof, it doesn't feel good. It's not fun to control. It's also the, so the, I'm still having trouble with this because it operates in a weird isometric method, you know, because it's, it doesn't train uh, one. It doesn't translate from analog to digital very well. Um, you know, I've I basically got eight directions based on my um, control. Actually, interesting. If I try and hmm, it feels a little sloppy one way or another. But um, Interesting that it just, the prompt just isn't there unless I actually mouse over it. Nobody there. I think I finished my thought more or less. You got my meaning. Hey, it's not. You all right? 
Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. Much time before what? Soon. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Before what? Yeah, cover we it. Should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. Stop talking. Yeah. Cover her up. Somebody is going to walk out that door and there's going to be a problem. How did this happen? Why her? It's just so awful. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. Well, I'm unsure. Of course I left her unsure. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. We are edging into the, like, not enough information area. Where I feel like I'm supposed to know more we need to characters than I do. So we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I don't know any of the, like, last four characters they mentioned. I don't know anything about them. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Why is he mad? If I work here and he doesn't... What the fuck is he even complaining about? Because you were the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Oh, cool. He's a I prick. I this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, yeah, well, you fuck the deputy mayor. Protecting the citizens of Mapletown. Your it, oh, Ichabod Crane, okay. Their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? How long has it been? Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is it The woodman pain, seems like a piece of shit, but I don't think he would murder her. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst Not us. Not to mention his axe no. didn't yeah. appear to be magical or certainly all didn't do the kind of damage that would suggest that it... Could I will take her head off that easily. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? No bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Wow. Do your job, Sheriff. What an... find someone who can. Jesus. What an unbelievable Wait, asshole. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I mean, it couldn't have gone much. It couldn't have gone much better. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking. Never mind. 
Smoke away. One to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Fucking... Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Well. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Those glassy black eyes are spooky as fuck. It hasn't been a great morning, Buck. Sorry. Nah, not your fault. Thanks for asking. Which books? The ones with all the fables in them. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. I was going to ask if people wanted me to read the, bo the book the book of fables time. entries or not, in but... In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. But it's... It's become quite apparent that I know less of these characters than I expected to, so it's going to be required. Hello, Kate. Hi. Snow White. Hi. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. You know, genie's been created. Yeah, that's right. Is this actually reflective? Holy shit, look at that. There's actually a... That's nuts. Ref even today, reflections are a little bit rare. No. At least ones that are well done. And this one's super well done because it's at an angle and it's got like a whole convex or concave thing going on rather. Not sure whether this is um, time sensitive or not. Director of Operations Assistant. Okay, interesting. Not a problem. Okay. Thank you. I do wish I could hear her a little more clearly. Yeah, let's let's deal a tarot hand. Well, I mean, there appear to only be three cards, which is. I guess it comes in all forms. Hmm. Huh. Why would I pocket it? I'm curious about the lamp. I don't think I should touch it. But I'm also... I'm really curious. It's hard to resist. No. We'll just... No, you know what? Oh, I can't cancel it. No, stop. Don't do the thing. <laughs> okay, I, I just can't click away from it. I keep trying to navigate by clicking rather than using the... WASD. Fuck it, rub the lamp.
I kind of figured that they wouldn't, if it actually had a genie, they wouldn't just leave it lying around. All right. Let's talk okay. to the magic mirror. magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is it? Oh, what you it's a live feed. Way. Okay. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Yes, I know. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. I mean, if I'm just, if it's just showing you me a live feed anyway, I mean, how is, she's dead. Well, how is that going to help? Sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Can I expect the, inspect the items in my inventory? I feel like I should look at the ribbon. It's kind of important. And the cloth, for that matter. Whew. Excuse me. Now, why would that prompt be there? You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. I mean, historically, that's not true, but okay. Hmm. Look at the deck again. Some more prompts. This is a great room. Look at the symbols first. It wants me to look at the big book. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is familiar. Yes. The acts of the woodsman are druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing. I only translate. This looks familiar. Yes, from the acts of the woodsman. Oh, are druid space bar pauses. Okay, Someone good to know. That thing. I only translate. Might as well just go through the whole thing. Purple sword and the the. Uh, what is it, the, uh, the, the Bandersnatch, or the, uh, what's the, what's the other one, the, uh, I'm kicking myself for not remembering it. Fuck it, you know what I mean. What 
reads that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Quite who I'm looking for. What's it say on there? It says, Bricklebit, an older elfish hat. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit go. What? The golden fleece. I don't actually know whether this is valid Latin or not. Hopefully, my uh, my buddy who's more versed in this nudge nudge will tell me whether any of this is valid Latin. It looks. I mean, it. it to the untrained, to the reasonably untrained eye, it looks pretty much right, or, or like at least has the. At least some of the words are correct. I, I know that much. Secure non. I. Trying to make sense of the, more sense of this than I am really capable of. Buff, translate. Hmm. Ad Patrius, the, the good china of Toad Hall, Mr. Toad. He probably wrote this in himself. So this is Yggdrasil, the the world tree, um, with the various worlds attached to it. We are. Theoretically, in Midgard. Um, it's interesting because a lot of this is um, Celtic or Norse uh, symbology, but obviously the um, the text is not. It's probably not super interesting to watch me just stare at this, but this is like super well done and I'm very impressed by it. Huh. King's seal? Is that what that? I think that's could just click on it and find out. But... This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alilayro. I'll go look it up. Alilayro. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <coughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Kate. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Kate. Oof. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. I am vaguely Tonight, familiar with that Rocky. one. Miss Snow? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, like... We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith? 
She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name was Bay. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. I can't rule him out. I feel like this got quieter. I hope you guys can still hear. I'm glad. I'm definitely glad I turned it back up. Okay. Let's look at the picture book. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name. Well, now I feel. Have a look if you like. Now I feel slightly silly for going out of order. Well, there's Donkey Skin. There's presumably her father. Let's look at the toad. Toad of Toad Hall. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? The boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, she's wearing the ring. The ring with the seal. Is this, uh... I presume that's supposed to be the prince. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. I mean, I know this. Are you really... Damn. Them dudes spooky. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah. I remember. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, certainly some interesting stuff going on. I'm really appreciating the willingness to go slowly with this. That is something that even some of the best games around could probably serve to uh, do a little better to find a little more breathing room it really wants me to look at this tarot deck again I feel like I feel like it's telling me I fucked up by taking the uh, how do I how do I access my inventory I feel like I missed something. I mean, in most of the games, in most of the Telltale games, as I recall, it's almost completely contextual. But just wanted to make sure. Um, okay. Oh, hey, body, hanging from the, the tree. The background there is almost like a matte painting. Or or in that style, not, not a matte painting in the strictest sense, but you know what I mean. It looks like it, it's illustrated like a comic book page. It looks fantastic. Even if it's not like, I mean, even look at the, the detail in the archway and the books in the back. 
that's a whole thing. Okay, well, um, am I on my way out the door then? Is that my next step? Seems that way. Unless I can go back that way? Nope. Oh, you know what? I should talk to the mirror about Donkey Skin, who I now know. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Well, apparently it works on the dead. Prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Hmm. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, dear. It's simply the way this has to be. Hmm. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. I'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Oh boy. Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oi! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. Maybe we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Well, this has been a very long episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to cut here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cut here. And when we come back, we're going to decide what to do about this whole hullabaloo.